I'm Bruno Senna. I'm a McLaren Automotive Ambassador. So I've got a chance to come to Rothko Collection to be in the presence of such amazing cars. Uh, a dream come true for me. The feeling of nostalgia. It's actually quite incredible to see because the colors are very, very distinctive. All these McLarens behind me, I can definitely roll with that. It's a real privilege to be associated with such great brands. My family has great history with McLaren. I have a bit of history with Golf. I've already raced in a Golf liveried car uh, in, back in 2013 and 14. So for me, it's almost like coming back home. I get the real sense of purpose to be associated with brands like these because they represent so much in motorsport and also in uh, sentimental value for me. I've seen some of these cars racing on TV. They're extremely iconic. I have such great memories of these really cool cars going down the sun straight, flat out, ingrained in my memory. So uh, it's quite a, quite a moment for me to come and see all these things together. Well, the uh, M8 original Can-Am car for Bruce McLaren, uh, first uh, race in 1969, crazy power, <laughs> much more power than the car should have, clearly. The association with Golf was already there for, from that age. That car obviously has a very cool concept of the rear wing stuck on the rear suspension instead of on the bodywork of the car. So a very clever idea. And if, when you think of uh, how much technology has evolved since then, I bet those things were crazy to drive, man. The Golf livery is um, it's very classic, but at the same time, it doesn't become old. It kind of fits in every race car, every road car, in case of the 720, of course. Everybody likes it. It's not one of those liveries that uh, sort of fits one thing, doesn't fit another. When you have a sea of normal colored cars, the Golf livery really stands out. So actually, if you're trying to stand out, having uh, some light blue and orange uh, can really make you uh, apart from the rest.